hi welcome to my channel today i gonna be fixing my face i gonna do it uh i want to do a bright makeup today i gonna play with some color in my eyes um but now yes this is my massive makeup collection this is my beauty room and office but i still have to fix a lot of stuff i have a lot of stuff here as you can see here all this is lancome and steel order uh, the blockbuster collection that I had to go through all that um, but yes yeah, still fixing and decorating like this is like a never finished so yeah it's a point that I'm gonna have to finish and um, if we're going at around here is my beauty my beauty um, vanity and this is uh, when I graduate from cosmetology uh, beauty model school i have my texas license instructor and uh operator i have two license and this one was all my transcripts so i find it while i was cleaning the other day but yeah i need to put everything together and as i say i have here my rochelle's boutique um and rochelle's sales permit from texas since 2001 and i've been notary as well that yeah, I'm, I'm a businesswoman and also six college degree. Over there is one of my major one. This is a master's in science from Texas A&M. But yeah, I'm gonna be show everything when I when this mask is completely done. And if you see that one is a uh, accounting specialist uh, from UTA. University of Texas at Arlington. Yeah, I have a lot of degrees, so, um, but yeah, I love, I have passion for education, so yeah, please study. And yeah, I'm gonna be fixing my face, my hair. I'm still in pyjama. <laughs> it's Saturday, uh, 22nd. Um, yeah, keep watching, and I'm gonna put together my hair, and then I'm gonna be come back doing my makeup tutorial to see what I want playing today. Today is like a pink, but I'm gonna be clean this. I want like a blue or green or, I want play with colors today. So let's see what I decide to do. Keep watching. To minimize the time that I'm using to film in today, I'm gonna skip the part when I clean my face, but I'm using this from Stiloder. <clears throat> I have selection here clean my face so I'm gonna use this even if the day is advanced night micro cleansing foam but I love this and I love so much how this smell so yeah I'm gonna be using this to clean my face I'm trying to pick what I'm gonna wear as foundation I'll try to use my double wear from steel other and I cannot find this the big side like that it's probably over there over there behind that but I can not cross because I have some stuff here that I'm putting together some boxes with makeup that I need to put it together so I'm gonna have to use I don't know use the Elizabeth Arden which I love so much this one oh, okay I'm gonna pick this one just in case and I'm gonna pick this uh, CC cream from Mary Kay, I like this one too. Have some good colors of, and coverage. So I'm gonna be using that, and I'm gonna uh, using as a primer, um, a Smashbox, and I'm planning moving here. Okay, I was, I need to open this uh, Isaac Mirage blush brush that I bought the other day. And I find out that it's the same pattern like the steel other collection that I have. So I'm gonna put it together. Um, well, yeah, I'm gonna be using also my glow kit and my Rochelle Beauty palettes. And but today, because I want to use a lot of colors, I want to use my Game Charge palettes. I'm gonna be using this palette to do my makeup today for Morphe. Uh, let's go my bedroom. I'm gonna do my makeup in my bedroom today.
all the makeup what I'm gonna be playing tonight. Well, it's the early is uh, six six p.m. So I'm gonna be playing today or tonight this evening with all my makeup, and I'm gonna do something dramatic. I want to play with colors, so I pick this more shadowing darker pigmentation to see what is going on and for that reason I pick a, a very light blush it's a light blush because I'm going to be pointing in my eyes so I don't want the rest of the face be bored so this is from the other and I'm going to be trying my Lancome also I love Lancome and for my own brand Rochelle's Beauty I'm gonna be using one of these highlighter. So I'm gonna be using some products that I haven't used in for a while, like this bronzer from Urban Decay. I'm gonna be using that one. And yes, let's go and start at my makeup. I was looking in my closet what I want to wear. This is no color at all. So I was going to the last area, which is some green. And I decided to pick, let me see if you can see that, I don't know, ta -da! okay, I'm wearing this, light, this pink, oh, sorry, pink, always pink, green, green, I need a green. So these have a beautiful design right here with different uh, green colors, so I think it's perfect for what I want to do. I want to do something nicer in my eyes so I'm gonna be playing with that shadows that I picked today so let's uh, go into I my bed my laptop. now I'm gonna be filming my makeup with my laptop I think it's better because it's gonna be steady so I can use both hands while I'm doing my makeup and I bring all my brushes and I'm gonna set up my laptop over my hat carrier this is a round you know that I put my hat over there and I'm planning to open my Isaac Miss Rashi I'm gonna start open my Isaac Miss Rashi brush that I bought it the other day at TJ Maxx and I show you this in a previous um, video right but uh, oh, it's my time to put it in my um, container with my brushes collection so yeah let's open i want to see how uh oh i'm so happy when i open uh, new stuff wow okay this is this is part of the i try to do this faster as fast as i can i'm looking to see it say isaac miss rashi anywhere but it's not it's just the blinking thing, so you and me only know that this is Isaac Mirachi. Other than that, it's no way to know because it's, it's not branded like I have other brushes like this one. This one is a professional flat kabuki. You can see it's printed. So I will come in with my own brush line and of course mine is going to be printed. So this one is still other don't have printed either. Some have, but other don't like this one is coming with one of my blockbusters. So this can be part of this, see? Easy, same pattern. Alright, now let's uh, start with my makeup tutorial. And let me see. Since I can do this to um I'm using this. I bought it at uh in a style salon at JC Penny on Christmas. I have problem with my cell phone right now, so that's why you hear that noise. I try to to down and reset it, but it's still like like that. I don't know what is going on. So I'm gonna be waiting to see what happens later. Okay, I'm glad I have this camera and my laptop on. So, okay, let's just start uh, with the primer from Smashbox. 
and I'm gonna put in it in my entire face pretty quick and in my eyes if I use my entire hand I can tell you that I very softly touch in my face because I don't want wrinkles on destroying my face in this area especially it's very delicate we usually use this but sometimes I use the entire hands, but keep in mind I am touching very softly. Okay, that's that. Um, now I'm going to bring my blender from my beauty room. I didn't bring it, so let's stop here. I also bring water because I need to drink water. Hmm. I spill myself. All right. It's water, so who cares? I bring my um favorite original beauty blender. It's nasty. I need to clean that, but it's okay today because I want to be using today. And then I have to do a video how to clean your brushes and your blender. I I have everything, so I bring this also in case I need it. My Lancome um clean face just in case and I'm gonna move this a little bit to show you here how I set up all the things that I'm gonna be using um let me see if it's okay here Ta -da! all my makers are right here That was my little table that I used when I was in college um, to study and write and read in my bed. I, I do love to do a lot of stuff in my bed and this is my mirror. So I have this here so I can wash myself when I'm doing my makeup. Alright, now what else we need to do to start up? I want to use this. This is from Wet n Wild. This is uh, the concealer. And then I'm gonna apply my um, my um, foundation, and I'm gonna be using this a lot because I want to do something different today. Okay, I will have the primer, but I'm gonna also do this. I want to test in something to see if I can make it even. Brighter all the color that I'm gonna be using. Hope you can see it. So, yeah, this is the concealer from Wet and Wild. I also have, and I'm using um, um, this Kleenex here. Okay, I love this one from Still Other. I need to buy this one. This coming like uh, in a set like that. This is a uh, mascara in this side. Mascara. And in the other side is coming. This is an amazing concealer that wow is the best is the best I use that several times and I love it see this one I have a little spot here when I apply this really really is better of course it's better than wet and wow way better of, of course this is not in this case it's no comparison even though I love Wet and while I end in this, usually ending with this with the steel oil, which I need to buy it the a new one because I use it a lot and I don't want that will be gone. See, see the difference between this and this that have a full coverage, steel oil have a, a better coverage than the wet and wild, of course. I can see, I don't know if you can see very well, but look at this. Look how this appears here. 
Okay, I'm back. Looks like the camera caught, and I was looking like, wait a minute, I don't even see if he's filming or not. Um, so I'm gonna be using right now. I already applied my. Why I was not sure if this was filming or not. Um, I'm gonna be using my Kabuki to distribute my foundation, which I already applied. I I start liking using the Kabuki lately. I always was in love with my blender, but oh, is this working really good? Really good. Oh my god, I love it. It's starting very, very even up completely. I try to go faster, as faster as I can. Because we still need a lot of things to do. Beautiful. The canvas is good to go. Okay. Now. I am going to use. And whatever I use. I, I stick over this uh, Kleenex. So I don't get nothing dirty. My bad. I am going to use these powders. The Wet n Wild. Photo Focus. I was going to say photo finish, but I have the photo finish from Maybelline. But since I bought this the other day, I tried to be using all of my new products. Um, but today, we definitely going to be using all po uh, products. Lancome. And I'm going to be using part of this ser Serpentine Cat 1D. And the Morphe James Charles. So I want to use all products that I haven't used in for a while. I clean the powder and I'm gonna be apply a lot. I'm gonna set in here because I'm gonna be doing my my eyes in a minute and I don't want to see some pour off get dirty. But in the meantime I want to the rest of the face being cooking with this. By say so, what we mean in the beauty industry. I'm using my new eyes, uh, sorry, Isaac Mishrashi brush, as you can see. I use this thing today. Okay, I love it. It's soft, super soft. Alright, okay, now let's start doing the makeup. Uh, uh, let me see from the palette um, from James Charles what we got here. Okay, here are the colors. All the colors. And this one is kind of pinky, and this one is kind of sand color. So I want a color more neutral. To start up my base because I'm gonna end in using some green, different greens to match my, uh, my shirt. So I'm going to pick better from this palette from Lancome. I have, I would love to use the entire palette, but we have some blue here and we don't need blue. And then in this one, we also have some, um, nice color in between these two. This one has more pinky, like Jane Charles, so I'm, I'm gonna end up using this one better that has more beige. So a beige neutral color is the best to use to apply in my entire lip. And this one again is from Lancome, so I'm picking up this one to apply as a completely base in my in my entire lid and I'm gonna try to use as many eyeshadows today I'm not planning anything I just wanna play around to see because I the creativity to play and do as many things as we can I want to put a lot as much as I can alright you're gonna see it probably 
because of course it's, it's super light it's this one the first one right there okay so now let's pick a transition color which one I can pick let me see from cat 1D I'm gonna be using this green but not now um let's use something else from Jane Shar. Okay, from Jane Shar up as transitional color, I'm gonna be using this one, which is like a sand color. Much better. So let me change the um I'm gonna be changing the um blotch. Okay, let's pick the color. And I use it in kind of. I don't know if I'm gonna like it this brush. Let's try it. I want a transition in between here. Oh, yeah, it's working. And again, this transition going from a little bit down there to the rest of the eyes. I try to cover the rest of the eye. Okay. Now let's pick another brush. This brush, as you can see, is a little bit, a little bit bulky, and I'm gonna start picking up. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one, then this one, this one. I'm gonna use all these four, and then I'm gonna pick the. The brighter one from Cat 1D. So let's start with this one. Let's see. I'm gonna start from the inner center. Ta -da. I'm excited. I love color since I was a child. I like business since I was a child. But color, I remember my grandma buy me a, always like a big color books, this thick, and I sit down hours and hours coloring. I wish my mom said those books for me. It's an owl now, right? It's amazing that I just touched this side. I can tell you, until here. Body color is spread like to here. This is amazing because that was not my intention. Those okay, and let's start now doing this one. Oops, I'm out of focus. Okay, I'm using this one. This one, so I use this one first, and now I'm using this one. For those that have this palette. Alright, now I'm going to put it in my outer corner. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. A fun look. As you can see, I try to leave the center. This has Out. so much pigmentation that is spread. That's why I like to use the smaller brushes. But I'm gonna be blender with a clean brush. And I need to do clean here. Pardon. Pardon. Yes, it's too much eyeshadow down there. Just explain this. Rescue me a little bit. Some people put a like, tape in here to avoid this. I never use a tape because I'm afraid that destroy my skin. Right. Let's okay, guys. I'm gonna show you. In the past, I sold these brushes from Sebastian. I have this one, and I'm gonna be using this one today in my eyes. I am not selling any longer. I so everything that I have, I just save these two for me. 
Sebastian, if you remember that brown, of course, the shampoo line, they they used to have makeup too. Um, so this I saw this like many, many years ago. It, I saved this one for me and it's so super high quality. I don't know if you can see it. But what I'm gonna use in this is to apply powder in this section here from my the wet and wow. The area that I'm cooking here because I want more powder see to protect this area to be easier later. And this one is perfect. See, I love small brushes. I don't know if because I, I don't have a big face. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I love small brushes. I can handle better than big brushes. So this one is perfect. I, from now on, I'm gonna save this brush for for this area in my eyes. Um, next, 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 more colors. I want more colors, and I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using something that looks different, like this one, this one right here, which is um a very light. Um, and actually, I'm gonna be connecting both both area inner and outer with this one to see how it looks like. I just I remember I am just testing everything today. Like I am doing crazy things right now, playing with my eyeshadows. I have this eyeshadow sit down there. Um. So tonight is night. I wanna play with this. Of course, you can see the different eyeshadows. Perfectly good. For now, I want to do something dramatic. Oh, um, let's do this in the middle. And concealer in the middle. Point of this. This is I use my finger. To fix it and blend it, I am using now this corner one, which is a bright color too. And guys, this palette you cannot get it like unless they sell individual. You can ask in Lancome counter. And for those colors like our shimmering, this comes in a blockbuster. Is those that uh, buy blockbuster like I do? Yes, this palette is from one of the blockbuster. I don't remember one which year because I keep it all of them and it's like a brand new. I'm putting over the Cooper One Gold to minimize the the line, and I still need to do my eyebrows, of course. But I like it so far. I like it. Oh yeah. You can see how many colors I use. Can you see that? How many colors I use today? I don't I lose the counting, probably more than seven so far. Alright now the eyeliner um no eyeliner no my brush um this is from Mary Kay, and I apply the um, uh, the green shadow from Kat Von D. This is what I'm doing right now. Which looks really good, very intense. Right now, I have my, I bring my Lancome black eye pencil. Okay, I'm called from Lancome. So I'm gonna be using this one in my waterline. Like right there. What I did, I get out of the camera for a few seconds and I applied again more concealer in my inner corner, if you can see. 
even though it was okay I still want a show of more so I want this show more this color right here for those that have this palette if you don't have this palette it doesn't matter you can play with any shimmering that you you can have looking for the um, beige beige um, selection of because of course we are using green keep in mind do not use pink you can use pink but it's, it's still not that it's not gonna look that good beige is the best to, to bring you the green, the green sorry can you see now oh, oh yeah definitely I can see it alright what I want to do, what is my I'm gonna put I'll, I'm gonna pick a little bit of this gold close to the center pick this one as I told you I'm gonna be using a lot of color today. I just in love with this. Okay, now I am going to. What else I have here to use? It's another one from this this other palette. This is the other one. This one is close to the blue. If you know what I mean. It's another gold shimmering. Right. I'm going to bring things to do my eyebrow. Okay, I have actually these two. This is from Still Other, and this one is from Wet and Wow, which are uh, have this brush. Let's do that. Let's use this from uh, Wet and Wow. And then I'm gonna reinforce with my steel other one. I want to design the line on my brow, so it's gonna be I don't know if you can see the difference. I already have a line right here. very soft and then under I really gonna um, do the line with my brush since I mastered this for so long I try to use other options but some things were better for me like the brush see I am um, designing my brow right now how I want it be. how I want my brow okay, let me go closer so you see now I'm designing uh, under here and then I'm gonna fill it and I want to show you what eyeshadow I use and actually to do this in a minute I'll show you in a minute crazy or not I am using this brown shadow from this palette from the middle one which actually is not shimmering this is matte this one right here sometimes you actually can use um, eyeshadows now I'm gonna be fill it with my stiller pencil in little lines To look natural. So you can see 
this one is um have more pigmentation than this one so let me fix that and I'm gonna back Ta -da! I fix it and I, you can see this is not exactly my style of eyebrows I usually use um more fine eyebrows this is exactly what I was talking to you the other day that um I like less bulky is more bulky tonight um but this is like a give you more reflection in your eyes point out your eyes imagine with my with my uh, face mask this is amazing and beautiful right my focus point are my eyes in this coronavirus you have to be more precise with your eyes because it's half of your face that is looking more in this virus area. So I I think I like it. I think I have it like that when I was young actually. When I was teenager. Like Brooke Chill style. For those that know who is Brooke Chill. She was my favorite uh favorite model. And um, I have these two brushes, but I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be using for contouring Urban Decay that I have been not using this contouring for a while. So, since my mask is gonna cover my face, of course, I'm not gonna put it too much product, but it's still I'm gonna do for this video purpose. So contour in pretty quick right here and focus more in this area of course. I remember I teaching you in an old or video that you can do like a tree or E side depending on how you look at me. Is a tree like one like that for contouring or E, depend of the camera how you look like, okay? It's E one side, three the other side. But you can see it, the contouring, you can see right there. Oh, I'm sorry, this side. You can see the contouring already there. And of course, in my forefront and tap, tap to make narrow my nails. Alright, next I'm going to use my um highlight the palette highlighter palette sorry and we are gonna select um nothing not the pink one of course not so it's gonna be in between these these two but first i'm gonna be cleaning this powder to clean that powder i'm using this brush from a stealer and I always try to uh, keep cleaning. I don't use this one. Remember, I use the Isaac Mist brush to apply my powder. So I'm going to clean this. And I always can clean, uh, apply more product here if I want to. Before even apply the the highlighter and the blush. So what I'm going to do with my uh, blender, I'm gonna come back in this area. So what I did, I apply a little bit more of foundation, and I'm going to clean this that is a little bit out of my the area that I want to be cleaning out of the eyeshadow was a little bit down there also in this side I do the same I have this this other brush and I'm gonna back to the Kat Von D eyeshadow. You have to be, you have to be playing and playing and playing until you have perfection. So 
I'm going here, as you can see, and then I'm going to make a line like, oh, like, like the cat eyes. To apply an extra color. Just to uh, make it a statement like the line is right there. And apply more cut one bit right here to blend it with the top right here. I love it. I love this look. I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful. Alright, now I want to apply and I'm going to be using this brush which is a blush brush but as I told you I love this brush like this one is for highlight right this one is for highlight but I like to use this one I like more more precision so that's why I keep this one separate I know this one is because it's uh, the brown in the in the the hand here, the hand here is brown. I know this one is for my highlight. So let's pick uh, a soft, a soft this one from the all four. The gold. This is more copper or more darker. You can see uh, this one is darker. So I'm going to apply this soft light gold, which is this one right here and this is from Rochelle's Beauty inbox me please in this uh, under this video if you want it I have a lot and I still sell this and okay look at this this is like Anastasia same quality same quality I make sure that was very pigmented if you want to try my brand you're welcome to do so can you see it? It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ta -da. Can you see how bright it is? Okay, let's stay here and I'm gonna be applying. And the good thing is that this is coming with uh, a mirror. Anastasia is not coming with mirror. Mine is coming with mirror. For less mom, huh? Alright, let me do this. Watching what I'm doing. And you can get this palette in twenty dollars. So yeah, I I can give you this palette in a set. This one and the Rochelle's Beauty color palette in less in less money. Like both in forty dollar the this one I saw always in thirty five but because the coronavirus I am give this one in twenty in twenty dollars. I don't know if you see that in my previous video when I'm advertising this. I use this one a lot. And yeah, you can have this one in twenty dollars during the coronavirus. And it's the price of this one is thirty five. So the price of this one usually was twenty five, put down to twenty, and I can go on also eighteen dollars. If you inbox me that you really want it, I can give you a special price for that. Look at this. How oh, oh, beautiful! Look how changed right my entire face. Before without makeup. Now I have to do like a two pictures to put it together. Before and after. I forgot to do that. So yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to proceed with the still other blush, which I picked this color in this time because I want something. I want this one really soft because I don't want a blush. I want. Poof, my eyes. 
not my face, especially because I'm gonna be wearing mask. I'm going out. I'm going. Even it's late. What time it is? It's, it's over 8 p.m. already. <laughs> Look how much I'm taking time to do this video. Look how beautiful. Still oil. I love still oil. This is uh, it's so many brands out there are really good, but I don't know. It's still oil is fave, 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 fave forever. I can wear. Uh, you see how much makeup I have, but I love, I love a still oil since I was really 13 years old. Look at this. See, it's natural, it's a look very natural, but it still has something there. I have some makeup in here. I'm gonna be put this lipstick, this one that I bought the other day, but because I'm wearing a mask, my mask is gonna be with, my, with this lipstick. I don't wanna use the liner. I have lipstick brush actually. This is my, my lipstick, one of my lipstick brush, brush. And if you want, if you don't want to use liner or lip liner, just use a brush. Use that. Tick, 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 tick. Easy. And you can design your, your lips. See, it's, it's like I create my own lip liner just with the brush. All the professional makeup artists use uh, brushes to apply lipstick. I love this lipstick from Stiller that I get the other day in my Blossom, White Blossom um, package. Now, as I say, I clean everything, everything in here. So, it's almost done. I just need one more thing. Actually, not one more thing, but more than one thing. From here, from all my um, lashes that I am using right now. I have Benefit, uh, Still Older, Elizabeth Arden, Still Older, oops, it's Still Older, um, Wet and Wild, Maybelline, Maybelline, another one, Elizabeth Arden. I love this one for Elizabeth Arden, but I'm gonna pick um, this and this from Lancome. So it's what I'm gonna do too. I love the look. Look at this. Let me get closer. Look at these eyeshadows. Everything I do for my eyes. Mm, love it. I love it. Looks so good. Okay, I put this first. With it out, I get. I don't want to get dirty my hair. This is to make it bulky. Um, it's like a bump. Bump. It's kind of like a primer f before you you uh, using your mascara. I'm not going to use a uh fake lashes which I have but I'm, I'm not into that mood I have a uh, long lashes but of course some I always keep it clean so double check that everything is clean it's not one of my lashes in there before I put it back and then I think I'm gonna be using another mascara. Wait a minute. I'm gonna uh, using the Estee Lauder one. 
Okay, look at this. From the bottom one, I'm gonna be using this one from Stiller. Look at this. It's a perfect for the bottom one. Can you see it? That's why you cannot have only one thing. Like, oh no, I have one. Hello. It's so many things that we need to make it perfect. These ones are very good for the bottom. And I don't have a oh, Mary Kay here. I don't know what is my Mary Kay, but a Mary Kay I have is just like this one too. Okay, now from my top again because I want it looks more. Let me go closer. Can you see my lashes? Okay, I'm gonna be using this one from the other to make it even bold. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be closer so you can see it in between two eyes. <gasps> oh wow. Divine. Let me go closer. Look at my two eyes. You see it different with the still other. It's way more intense. Recommend that if you like it. Have the Look at my eyes now. It's amazing. It's, it's still other mascara. Look at this. Looks like I apply fake lashes. It's easy. It's I can read something. Mm. A string black. It's a extreme because it's gonna make it looks like a stream. So you want this. You go the still the counter as for a stream mascara. See right there, extreme black, and it look like this. If you want yes, this look now, what I gonna do? Because it's done. I want to finish with my. Vaporizer for focus fixation. So, oh, that was in French setting spray in English. Oh, in Espanol, spray we call it spray. I don't know in, in other countries, but in Panama, usamos spray igual. ¿Qué sería spray in Espanol? Siempre usaba spray. Eh, fijador, un fijador, en vaporizador será, maybe, okay, I'm gonna be um applying this, let me see if you can see it, imagine that you put some spray in your, in your hair, oops, I always know inside of my eyes. No oops here. Alright, everything looks good. Looks perfect. And I look pretty. And I'm ready. Just to go in the supermarket. Can you believe it? All this just to go in the supermarket. <gasps> I cannot believe it. That's me. Okay. My. I am like an advertising person. Bed and beat. Brush. I study advertising. That was my bachelor's degree. I think that's why I love a lot of brands. And this one is Clinique. I get this one. Oof. Don't ask me because you're not gonna get this one now. That was this many, many, many years ago. Like many years ago. Unless they come with something new again, but I have that since I was a teenager. Imagine, probably 17 years old, and I have another one, probably two more. Yep, this is one of the 
promotion that they, they have for many years ago. Ta-da! Clinique. That's another brand of uh, Estee Lauder. And I love it so much. So yeah, this is everything in this makeup look. So you, I hope you like it. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm gonna just wear in a jean with this teacher or sweater, whatever you wanna call it. It's so fresh, it's ready for summer. And um, if this is your first time in this genre, I hope you like this tutorial. Please remember to thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get more insight from makeups and other issues I'm gonna be talking, including politics sometimes. Um, and my books. So I'm gonna show you my book actually. I'm reviewing my books. What is my books? Um, let me bring my books. So I'm gonna talk about my books. As doctor in education, I am also a writer and researcher. I like to research a lot of stuff even from history. So my first book is this children's book. It's a, a short story, motivational story. And then the half of the book is in Spanish, and the half of the book is in English. The same story, but translated into English for your kids. It's a perfect book for now that your kids are in in home uh, because of coronavirus. If they want to practice in Spanish or learn, they start can read in Spanish. If they don't understand, of course, they can go after the half of the book and start reading. In English the version in English and then this one is a novel this one is kind of long I am reviewing right now I already start selling this book in Amazon but I put it down because I was a mistake when I when they do the first print and I am reviewing that everything right now don't have no mistake if you can see when you open the book everything is good right but the chapter one, chapter one, is start in this phase. See, so that's why I shoot it down from the website, the Amazon website, because chapter one is supposed to start right here. So I'm moving this, and now I'm reading the whole thing to see if I can find any any little things mistake to correct right away. And it's in Spanish, of course. It's gonna be a version in English after I post this in Spanish, and it's coming with an eyeshadow. Actually, the eyeshadows are a palette in green, and the name of the palette is El Pajaro Verde, just like this, which means in English the green bird. And of course, it's like without even planning, I using uh, green palettes right now, or this green color. My palette. Uh, I shall put a new one. It's coming. It's gonna be just a lot of green. All of them green. Fewer colors, but majority in green. And I'm gonna be selling while I'm selling the book. And maybe I can do like a special price together. If you are interested, you can read Spanish. And then when it's coming in English, uh, yeah, it's gonna be in English. So in the back, you can read something about me. I have six college degrees as I say I love this picture of me like very thoughtful thinking what is my next project I always working and I love it at home I have a, a job of course that working in computers in a company close to my home but a majority of the time I'm working at home so yeah I'm sorry for that and try to fix my 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 chair um, so yeah, um, you can see Rochelle Alvarado Miller. I tried to use Alvarado, which is my dad's name, last name, uh, Edu Doctor, Doctor in Education. Um, graduate, finish everything in Texas A&M, my three course degree from Texas A&M, Master of Art, Master of Science, and Edu Doctor. Uh, what else? Sometimes you're gonna see things like only Rochelle Miller is because Miller is my legal name. I became a citizen as a Rochelle Miller only. But in art stuff like this one, I try to approach my 
Alvarado last name, especially because I, I'm writing in Spanish and English. I want to reach my Hispanic community from Spain and from Latin America and using that background as an artist. Um, well, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, comment a lot of stuff. I have tons of ideas to film in, so this coming soon. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Bye.